Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Draw with Rob with me. Let's see, where am I? There I am, all Christmassy. There I am with Ringo and this is me in the Christmas activity book, Draw with Rob at Christmas. Um, my name is Rob Bidoff, I'm an author and an illustrator of books for children. You might have seen some of my books. Odd Dog Out here, it's all about a sausage dog who doesn't fit in with the other sausage dogs. Maybe you've seen my latest picture book. It's called Dog Gone. This one. It's all about Teddy and the day he loses his human. So two dog books. I like doing books about dogs, don't I? I seem to have done lots of dog books, which is interesting seeing as we are here today to draw a picture of another dog. Now then, this dog is from another brand new book that I have illustrated. It's this one, The Adventures of Parsley the Lion. And it's written by a very, very famous children's author called Michael Bond. Here's a picture of Michael here. Now, very sadly, Michael passed away a few years ago, but he um, was one, he was one of the best children's authors of all time. You probably know him best for this chap here. That's right, Michael Bond is the man who invented Paddington Bear. And if you haven't read the Paddington books, you are missing a treat. They are absolutely brilliant. I'm sure lots of you have seen the Paddington films that came out in the last few years, which are, I have to say, absolutely brilliant. And Michael Bond is the guy who wrote the Paddington stories. And I was very lucky I got to meet him a few years ago. And he was such a nice man, such a kind man, very generous to me. He said he liked my books. I'm not sure he's actually read my books, but he said he liked them. <laughs> and that meant the world to me. Very nice man. So I was thrilled to be asked to illustrate his Parsley the Lion stories. Now these first came out before even I was born. There was a TV show called Parsley the Lion, called The Herb Garden, I think it was, um, that came out in the late 60s. Maybe your grandparents might have seen it. <laughs> um, uh, so I was vaguely aware of the character and I was thrilled to be asked to illustrate this book. So here is my Parsley. Some of you might remember that we did a Parsley the Lion draw with Rob way back in May. I think it's video number 16. Um, I'll put a link somewhere to that. So if you haven't done it, you can go and draw Parsley. It was a lot of fun to do. But it was lovely to illustrate this book and it's a really beautiful book. Look at this. Oh, it's even got lovely gold embossing and a nice wibbling cover underneath there. And um, it was such fun fun to do. Look, I even had to do a map of the herb garden. And I must say that HarperCollins who published this book have done an absolutely beautiful job of putting it together. It feels just like a lovely, lovely gift book. And what a lovely present it would make. And what a lovely thing to have on your bookshelf, I think. Even if I do say so myself, it was a, it's one of my favourite projects that I've ever done, actually, I have to say. And I thought that today we would draw, we've already drawn Parsley, so I thought we would draw Parsley's best friend. And Parsley's best friend is a little dog. Let me see if I can find him. <gasps> there he is. He's a little dog called Dill, and he's a very mischievous dog. Let's see if I can find some more pictures of him. There he is. Look, he's in this particular chapter, he finds a golf ball, but he thinks it's a strange egg. <laughs> and it's really fun. The adventures that they have are really fun. So I thought today I would show you how to draw Dill the dog. Now then, just in case you haven't seen one of these videos before, this is how it works. We draw a picture together, okay? Lots of you out there tell me you don't think you're good at drawing. I say, rubbish, everybody can draw. You just need a bit of help with the order. So I do my drawings a little tiny bit at a time, okay? I draw a little bit. You can pause the video, copy what I do. Start me up again, I'll draw some more. Pause the video, you draw. I draw, you draw, I draw, you draw. And at the end, we end up with a lovely drawing we're proud of. And today will be no exception. I'm really looking forward to doing this. Dill the dog. Now, what you'll need is a piece of paper, something to draw with, pencil or a pen, something like that. Maybe some colours a bit later on. But don't worry, if you haven't got any colours, you can just do it in black and white or just in pencils. No problem at all. And let's start, shall we? Right, Dill. Now, this is a fun one to do because, do you know what? It starts with a scribble. 
by the way, look at it. Does it look a bit different today, this draw with Rob video? It's so rainy here in London today. It's really dark, there's not much light. So when I started recording, my phone automatically, which I record it on my phone, you see, it automatically put a big light on. So look, everything looks all sort of spotlit and nice, doesn't it? Oh well, a little bit of difference for us. Right, where was I? Yes, Dill. Let's start, shall we? Now this is a really fun way to start because we start with a scribble. You can see I've got a purple pencil here because Dill is purple, but don't worry if you haven't got a purple pencil, you can just do it in your regular pencil. But I want you just to do a sort of scribbly circle like that. Don't worry too much, right in the middle of your page. Just keep on going for a little while. A lovely scribbly circle, nice and random like that. Here we go. This is a fun way to start a drawing, isn't it? Now I'm gonna put down my purple pencil. I'm gonna pick up one of my pens. Which one shall I use? I think, let's go for this one today. My nice Kirataki brush pen. Okay, so this scribbly bit is gonna be Dill's body. Let's now add Dill's head, shall we? Now his head is gonna be coming out of his fur on this side. So what I want you to do about three quarters of the way up his body, I want you to draw a line coming out like that. Maybe two centimeters long, something like that. Going up at a very slight angle, so not dead straight, slightly diagonal. Then from that end, I want you to turn around in a curve and head a little bit down the page like that. Not too far, just a little bit. Then we are gonna continue straight on. Again, a couple of centimeters, something like that. Let's make mine a little bit longer. There we go. Then we're gonna turn around again and head a bit down. Not far, a little bit less than a centimeter, something like that. But then we're gonna curve around and we're gonna head straight back in to his lovely furry scribbly body, like that. And that is gonna be Dill's head. So let's give him a couple of eyes. We're gonna do two little dots here, just by the corner that we created. And they're gonna be Dill's eyes and then we're going to give him a nose by just adding a shape like this so sort of a rounded rectangle that we color in in the corner there I'm just going to change to a slightly thinner pen I'm going to add one two three four little dots there for Dill's whiskers and that's pretty much Dill's face really simple really simple this drawing when i designed this character i wanted to make them as kind of easy to draw as possible because i know how much fun you guys have when you're drawing my characters so i thought let's keep it simple now i'm going to draw dill running along today so we need to draw four running legs so what i want you to do is i want you to imagine that line carries on all the way through the body like that and i want you to draw coming out of this end i want you to draw a line that slightly curves upwards like that then we're gonna come out a little bit curved down, just a tiny bit like that. Then we're gonna go straight back up. And this is gonna be one of Dill's legs sticking straight out the back, because he's running so fast, like that. And then we're gonna do another one, pretty much the same, underneath. Start with our curved line, sticking out a little bit, bending down, coming up in a straight line, going back into his body like that. There we go. And then the others we're going to do sticking straight out the front because he's really sprinting. So we're gonna do one line coming out just under his chin, like that, about that long. Again, we're gonna go up a little bit and curve around. And then come straight down. And then disappear back into his furry scribbly body, like that. And then the last leg, coming out a slightly different angle, I think, like that. Let's go up again, round, dead straight line down, back up into his body. Here we go. A nice running dill. I'm just gonna make his chin a little bit thicker, top of his head a bit thicker, like that. That's the good thing about using these pens. You don't get a perfectly even line it's all sort of varied which means if you think oh I need to make that make his head look a bit bigger 
you know, make that foot look a bit longer. You can just add a little bit to it, like that. Do you remember I say, if you make a mistake, don't give up. Just keep on drawing, because usually you can correct any mistakes just by drawing through them, you see? And then you end up somewhere that you're happy with at the end of it. Okay, next, we I think we should give Dill a tail. Now, he is going so fast here that his tail is sticking straight out behind him as he whizzes along the ground. So, we are going to draw, let's see, sort of if you imagine his head coming through, that line going all the way through, we're just going to continue that with a big thick tail coming straight out like that, at the same angle as his head. So it creates a nice sort of linear movement. And this is how we do the tail. We do the great big thick line, and then we're just going to add how many should we do? Uh, let's do six. One, two, three, four, five, six little lines, like that for his tail. And at the end of each line, we're just gonna add a little circle. And this is because dill is named after the herb dill. Okay, all the animals in the herb garden, so in this parsley book, are named after herbs. So parsley is a herb. We have dill, we have sage, the owl, there's all sorts of characters. And, her, and the dill, if you look up dill, the herb dill, it looks a bit like this. It sort of has these leaves with these little sort of bobbles on the end. So I try to keep an element of the actual herbs somewhere in the character design, you see, whenever I did it. So that's the little nod to dill, the plant. Now then, the last thing we need to do here is we need to add dill's great big floppy ears. Now these are fun. So what we're going to do, coming out the top of his head, I want you to draw really quite a big curve coming up and around his body, like that. Then when you get to the end of that, I want you to draw a little sort of C shape. And then we're going to come back around and we're going to get thinner as we get to the end, but we're going to join it back up with his head like that. So a nice big floppy ear. Then of course we need to do another one. He has two ears, you'd be surprised to hear. And that's going to be similar, slightly different angle, but a similar shape. It comes up and out of his head, like that. And then these need to be coloured in black. i use my nice brush pen again. That's another good thing about these pens. It's quite easy to do large areas of colour quite quickly. There we go. And that, my friends, is how you basically draw Dill, the dog. Now then, in the books, he is his his fur here is sort of a dark. I've actually done that a bit light. That's sort of more pinky purple. It's actually a bluey purple. So I'm going to add some more scribble and more colour to that when I go into super speed mode. And also, you you'll see I add a few little sprigs of sort of dill coming out of his fur here and there. So you might want to copy me. As I said, this is sort of a dark purple colour in the book and his face and legs are pink. They're sort of a lighter pink. But you know what I say, you can do any colours you like for your deal with the dog. Um, the more colourful the better is what I say. So listen, I'm going to go into super speed mode. As I said, you'll see I'm going to add lots of little detail in here so you should be able to copy what I do there. But I will see you back here in about 30 seconds with a lovely coloured in deal the dog from The Adventures of Parsley the Lion. Here we go, three, two, one. Let's go. There we go, there's my finished coloured in Dill the dog. You might have noticed I did a little bit of smudging around here. That was, I was a little bit disappointed with that. I will not tell a lie. But you know what? Keep on going, it doesn't matter, does it? And in fact, I think it's ended up perfectly all right, even with a little bit of smudging there. Um, 
Now, what else can I tell you? Yes, you'll see I added lots of other colors and lots of these sort of lines with smaller lines coming off it to represent the dill plant, a bit like the tail. And I added lots of other little vertical lines when I was coloring in, not vertical, like sort of straight lines, small, short, straight lines on the legs and on the head, just to hint at that kind of furry texture of dill. I also added the shadow. You remember my trick with the shadow? Well, it works really well when you want somebody to look like they're off the ground. So Dill here is running so fast that he's in mid kind of stride. He's off the ground. So I just added a bit of scribble as a bit of shadow underneath and it just makes it look like they're sort of floating, they're sort of flying. And all it is is a little bit scribble underneath. So that's a really, really good trick to make it look like somebody is in motion or they're flying or they're hovering above the ground. So there you go, it's a really good trick and tip for you there. Um, so yeah, I'm really pleased with this drawing of Dill. Oh, I forgot something. I forgot something, everyone. <gasps> Claws, we need to add three little lines on each foot, just like that, tiny little lines for Dill's claws. Oh, I can't believe I nearly forgot to do that. And I haven't signed it. Let's sign it down here. Rob, there we go. There's my finished Dill. So what do you think? I really loved drawing these characters. When I did them for Michael's book, it was a really real, it was a real honor actually to be asked to do it in the first place. And I really hope, I like to think that Michael would have liked what I did with his characters. Um, and I really hope you do too. I'm just adding look, a little bit more dill in here, here and there. Just a few little bits and pieces. See, this is the thing. Quite one of the things I find most difficult with drawings is knowing when to stop. <laughs> Quite often I, you know, just keep on going forever. But there you do get to a point where you think, right, that's it. Enough is enough, people. Stop drawing, Rob. You don't need to see any more of these. One more, there we go. Finished, finished, promise you, I've finished now. So listen, I can't wait to see your drawings. What you need to do, you need to get your grown up to take a picture of your drawings, post it with the draw with Rob hashtag on whatever social media they use, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter is probably your best bet. Um, that way I'll get to see them and maybe your drawing will make the grid at the end of the week. Again, if you're a teacher and you're drawing this with your class, take a picture of the class holding their drawings, post it with this hashtag here, class of the week, and then at the end of the week, I'll look through them all and I'll choose one for my favorite. And that'll be the class of the week. You'll get a little certificate. Um, so yes, I hope you've enjoyed drawing it and I really hope you like this book. Honestly, it's such a nice book, a really good gift. It's one of those books I think that you'll keep forever for your whole life. It's a lovely kind of gift book kind of item and I really, really like it. And it's full of full color illustrations, you see. So you know what, check it out, see what you think. You might even be able to find, I've signed lots of book plates for this. You might even be able to find a signed copy somewhere. So I hope you enjoy that book. Listen, it's been really fun drawing with you today. I hope you've had fun too. Um, I'm going to be back very soon for another episode of Draw with Rob. In the meantime, take care of yourselves, everyone. Bye-bye. Just when you thought you got rid of me, here I am popping up again at the end of your video. I just wanted to very quickly tell you about this. It's the Draw with Rob at Christmas activity book. Lots of you have got the other activity book I know and there's more fun in this book here and it's all festive themed. So there's loads and loads of things for you to do. We've got an arty advent for you to start off with, where there's something for you to do every single day. We've got blank Father Christmas letter pages. We've got Christmas deck, you make your own Christmas decorations, make your own Christmas cards, lots of coloring, lots of draw alongs. Look, here we go, snowman draw along. Loads and loads and loads of things to do. Look, you can even make your own little box for Christmas gifts. And I have got you covered when it comes to thank you cards too. Look, here, I'm gonna get there. Oh, look, I forgot, nearly forgot to tell you this. This is one of my favorite bits. Christmas cracker jokes. You can cut all of these out roll them up and put them around the table at Christmas time and all your family and friends who are with you, they can each tell a joke and it's got little charades and it's got, even got like little kind of guess the sketch ideas for you to draw along with each other over Christmas dinner. So listen, 
I think you're gonna like this. That's what I wanted to show you. Thank you cards, look mums and dads. Ready-made thank you card templates. No excuse not to write those thank you cards, is there? So listen, check it out. It's available wherever you get your books from. Online, in person, even better. If you can find it in a bookshop, even better. It's, how much does it cost? 6 99 not too expensive. Perfect stocking filler. Actually perfect, I would say, to give to somebody on the 1st of December so they can enjoy it all the way through the build up to Christmas. Anyway, I hope you like it. I'm gonna see you soon for another Draw With Rob video. Take care, everyone.